entering flight plans using the IFD 540 is very simple. Um, one, because we have Victor Airway planning and easy flight planning, but also with Geofill. So if I'm at the Melbourne Airport down in Florida, and I go to a waypoint, the waypoint I go to, the first one it recommends from the Melbourne Airport is the Melbourne VOR. So you can see here it recommended it. That's on my flight plan, so I've entered it in. Now from there, when I either touch the screen or push in this knob here, that allows me to then choose. It lists everything I can do from that location. So I can go to any other waypoint, I can hold, or I can get it on an airway. So my flight plan is to take Victor 3 down to Fort Lauderdale. Um, and as you can see on the screen, it gives you a preview of what that looks like. You scroll down through the choices, it shows you where all those other Victor Airways go. So you get a quick preview of that. That's great if ATC is giving you a um, clearance, making a change to your flight plan as you're going. Once you select the Victor Airway, then it asks you where you want to get off the airway. And as you build the airway and slide through, notice it's building down. So I can scroll down to Fort Lauderdale. So here, my flight plan, exactly how I hear it from ATC, which is Melbourne, MLB, Victor 3 to Fort Lauderdale. Once I get to Fort Lauderdale from there, I'm going to press in. It's going to list everything in my flight plan I can do from there. And now I want to go to a waypoint. The first one it's going to suggest is the Fort Lauderdale Airport. Well, I don't want to go to that airport. I actually want to go to, well, if I were to do Miami, I could type M, and there you get Miami on it. But I don't want to go there. I want to go to Fort Lauderdale exec. I type F, it finds Fort Lauderdale again, and then if I just type X, it lists it, Geofill finds that. So now I've entered in my flight plan, loading all the way from Melbourne, Victor 3, and it lists all the waypoints in between, so you don't have to dial each one of those, to Fort Lauderdale, and then to the Fort Lauderdale uh, Executive Airport where that's listed. From here, I can press the procedure button and it's gonna give me a preview of the approaches going into that airport. So now you can see, I'm gonna take the ILS-8 and I'll take uh, vectors into that. And now I have my flight plan fully loaded on it and I can get a full view of the flight plan from this page. It also lists out not only the mist, but puts it in plain, plain English. So you can see fly course 087, climb to 1,000 feet, direct praise, hold west of praise. And that information is all listed. Left hand turns on the hold, one minute legs. All that information is stored there.